Superman, The New Adventures, often referred to as Superman 64, is a 1999 adventure video game developed and published by Titus Software for the Nintendo 64 video game console. The game is based on the television series Superman, the animated series. Superman was first released in North America on May 31, 1999 and in Europe on July 23, 1999. Development of the game was largely hampered by constraints from DC Comics and Warner Bros., resulting in it being unfinished and of a poor quality. Blue Sky Software attempted to redo the game for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, but due to Titus' expiration of the Warner Bros. license by the time it was completed, it was cancelled. In the game, Superman must rescue his friends from Lex Luthor, who has trapped them in a virtual version of Metropolis. It is infamous for the negative reception it received from critics and is considered one of the worst games of all time, being heavily criticized for its poor controls and graphics, technical bugs, glitches, gameplay, and difficulty. However, despite its critical reception, it sold well. Gameplay Superman is a three-dimensional action-adventure platformer set in a virtual recreation of Metropolis created by Lex Luthor. Virtual Metropolis is filled with what the developers call Kryptonite Fog in an apparent effort by Lex Luthor to diminish Superman's abilities. In the main single-player mode, the player assumes the role of Superman, who is challenged by Luthor to complete various tasks and puzzles. Superman can walk, fly, combat enemies, and use super strength to lift and carry large objects. Superman's other superpowers, such as heat vision, freeze breath, and X-ray vision, are only accessible through collection of power-ups in certain levels and have limited reserves. If Superman is attacked by enemies, hazards, or is in close proximity to Kryptonite, his health will decrease. The player will enter game over and will be required to restart the current mission if Superman loses all his health. The player will also enter game over if a civilian character is attacked or time limits imposed on various missions expire before they are completed. Superman contains 14 distinct levels, which consists of 7 ride levels, and 7 maze levels. In ride levels, Gamma Play is set outdoors in Metropolis, and alternates between flying Superman through a series of colored rings and then completing a timed objective, such as protecting a civilian character or defeating all the enemies. When flying through a ring section, the player is given a time limit to complete the run that ranges from 1 to 10 minutes. If the player misses three rings, runs out of time, or fails the timed objective that immediately follows, they must restart the ring section. In maze levels, Superman has uncovered one of his friends from within one of Luther's outposts, and must escape with them and defeat a boss. These levels are generally more rooted in action-adventure and make use of puzzle solving. The game includes two multiplayer modes that can be played with up to four people. In the battle mode, players must defeat their opponents by throwing various weapons and items at them. In the racing mode, players control a spaceship and rings shoot from the backside of one opponent. Plot: Lex Luthor has created a virtual version of Metropolis and manages to trap Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen and Professor Emil Hamilton within it. Superman enters the portal to the virtual world, where Luther tells him that he must fly through his maze of rings scattered across virtual metropolis. After completing the rings task, Superman realizes he must save his friends from the virtual realm. Villains he battles along the way include Parasite, Darkseid, Brainiac, Mala and Metalo. At the end of the game, Superman frees his friends from virtual metropolis, but Lex manages to escape ending it on an unresolved cliffhanger. Development Superman was developed by French developer Titus Software and took two years to make. It was first unveiled at E3 1997 and later shown at E3 1998. Eric Cohen, the game's producer and co-founder of Titus Software, stated that the main goal of development was to create the first superhero-based video game where players really behave as a superhero. Equals voice cast equals, the game features sound bites of voice actors and actresses from Superman, the animated series, Tim Daly as Superman, Clancy Brown as Lex Luthor, Dana Delaney as Lois Lane, David Kaufman as Jimmy Olsen, 
Victor Brand as Professor Emile Hamilton, Corey Burton as Brainiac, Malcolm McDowell as Metalo, Brian James as Parasite, Leslie Easterbrook as Mala, and Michael Ironside as Darkseid. Equals constraints equals, Cohen claimed in a 2011 email interview with Internet personality Proton John that development was heavily affected by Superman licenses DC Comics and Warner Brothers, who mandated numerous aspects of the game design. These aspects included the limited use of Superman's powers and the game's setting in a virtual world, which was due to the desire to not have Superman fighting real people. The game's release was delayed by six months due to a lengthy approval process and less than 10% of the original design was implemented in the final product. Cohen also commented that the original design was too ambitious compared to what an N64 was able to deliver. Equals PlayStation version equals, after the critical failure of the N64 version, Titus gave Blue Sky Software the reins to completely redesign Superman for the PlayStation. The game received approval from Sony, but the license from Warner Brothers had expired and Titus was unable to secure a new one, resulting in the game's cancellation in 2000. According to producer Eric Cohen, about 400,000 pre-orders were placed for the game, and the cancellation cost Titus a considerable amount of money. The official PlayStation Museum awarded the game 4 out of 5 stars. Reception and Legacy Equals critical equals, Superman was heavily panned by critics, holding an overall negative score of 22.90% at game rankings, and is often cited as one of the worst video games ever. Common complaints were directed towards the game's controls, graphics, and general gameplay. Superman's flying controls were heavily criticized by multiple critics for being unresponsive, sometimes requiring multiple button presses for taking off or landing. Matt Casamassino of IGN rated Superman 3.4 out of 10, speculating that the developer had not put forth any priorities for this title other than to finish it, and commenting that the game has a rushed, careless feel. Casamassino states that this feel overflows into its visuals, criticizing the inconsistent frame rate, excessive use of distance fog, and frequent clipping seen in the game's environments and objects. He also criticized the game's poor collision detection abundance of glitches, and poor enemy AI. Casamassina concluded the review with, Superman is executed so poorly that it actually serves to butcher the reputation of the prominent action hero. Joe Fielder of GameSpot regarded the graphics as subpar, even for a first-generation N64 game. Fielder gave the game a score of 1.3 out of 10, making it the fourth-lowest rated game by GameSpot declaring that this is easily the worst game I've ever played. It serves no purpose other than to firmly establish the bottom of the barrel. Despite the largely negative reception, there have been a few mediocre to positive reviews of the game. Jevon Jenkins of Game Industry News rated the game 3.5 out of 5 gin gems, saying it was fun to play, but lacks needed details. Prophet of Dar Game Boys awarded it with 3 out of 5 joysticks, saying Superman is an uneven mix but the game play once you arrive there is for the most part genuinely fun and rewarding. Dutch gaming magazine Power Unlimited gave the game a 54 out of 100, saying that Superman has had little luck with games and recommending players to wait until a game worthy of his name is released. According to Titus, consumer feedback obtained in the form of a mail-in registration was overwhelming positive, and more than 70% of Superman's target audience, that of 6 to 11 year olds, rated the game as an A title. IGN described this positive reception as baffling, and said they were at a loss for words. Equal sales equals, despite its critical reception, NPD Group data shows that Superman was a top seller in North America during the month of June 1999. In July of that same year, Titus announced that Superman had been the third best selling game for the N64. Equals awards and rankings equals, the game was rated as number 7 in the list of 20 worst games of all time in a list created by Seenbaby in Electronic Gaming Monthly. It was also named second in the G4 series filters top 10 worst games of the 90s. Nintendo Power magazine rated it as the worst game on a Nintendo system. On MTV's Gamers 2.0, it was rated the number 1 worst game of 1999.
The game also topped GameSpy's list of the 10 worst comic book-based video games, as compiled by journalist David Chapman. On game trailers, it was ranked number one on their worst game of all time list in 2006, just ahead of E.T. The Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. The game was featured in the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2009 book for lowest rated superhero game. For a number of issues following the release of the game, the British and Australian Nintendo official magazine featured a tongue-in-cheek maze game presented by Lex Luthor entitled Lex Luthor Solve My Maze after his words in the game's infamous hoop sections. Notes. References. External links. Game Rankings Report on Superman 64, Superman at Moby Games, PlayStation Museum Review of Superman.